for moral support. So he can give a little wave too. Is it illegal for me to swear it's time to break that silence. in this state? It's time to end the suffering of those who are I was just sure informed that was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's protected speech. Yeah, I was just informed by the police that it's illegal. I've heard cops say that before, but I've never heard anyone get arrested for it. Well, that's why I'm so over here. I'm so smart. <laughs> One of the major ways we fight towards this goal is to run our clubs, End the Silence. This year alone, End the Silence has trained 21 students in mental health proceed, as well as many of our teachers. This number may seem small, but it means that each of these students is able to recognize mental health in their friends, family, or strangers and help address the problem. These skills are skills that can help save lives. We are working hard to increase the student from their so the after party for 420 is down at Area 23, so that's where I'm going to be heading, meeting up with some folks. And as you can see, there's still people here for the uh, anti-gun thing. And I don't know how long that's projected to go on, but it is now uh, about five minutes after five. It's a little chilly, the wind picked up. I know I think that drew a few people off, like, after they got the good smoke in. In tandem with Endless Islands, the Rainbow Alliance Club has also headed many projects to push the press school to be more accepting police. Such events include the pronoun Access to gender neutral bathrooms, Ally Week, a transgender panel, and most recently planning a day of empathy where students, if they choose to participate, will put themselves into the shoes of others who have been silenced in society because of their gender, sexual orientation, or other factors. Throughout the day of empathy, we hope that students will be able to empathize and understand many of the hardships their fellow classmates experience every single day.